when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Maybe an astronaut, a doctor, a police officer. Maybe you wanted to be a captain of a battleship like the one behind me, the USS New Jersey. I wanted to be a big league baseball player. I knew, just knew that's what I was going to be. And then one day I woke up and I was suddenly in the car business. I never saw that coming. I mean, think back when you were a kid. When you went to bed at night, what future were you dreaming about? You know, when we were kids, we'd head to bed with great visions of the future, man, of what we would do and who we would become. We, we always had that passion. And you'd go to school and you'd stare off into space. You'd be inspired to doodle about whatever your dreams were, being that astronaut, being that battleship captain. And everything was consumed in your life by your dreams and your aspirations. And anything was possible when we were kids. And then one day, time, fate, and circumstances landed us in the car business. Wasn't part of the plan. Most of us didn't plan to get in the car business. We just kind of ended up there. But over time, while we're in the business, our dreams, our goals, our visions, and the anything's possible attitude starts fading from view. Or at least it takes a back seat to the obligations, necessities, and the, and the daily grind of the moment. And we go to bed without passion, and we wake up without passion. Man, we had dreams for the first 20, 20 years or so of our lives. And then somehow we find ourselves stuck merely just existing for the next 60 years. I dreamed of being a big league baseball player. And then on June 14th, 1990, when I was 22 years old, I realized that dream was over. That day was the turning point. That was the last time I ever pitched a baseball in a baseball game. That's the day, that's the day I threw myself into the working world as a salesperson in a dealership. And I fell into the same trap that so many people do. I had a job. I was just over broke. And I just existed. And, and, and I was just going about the day to day. For a while, that is. At some point, I was able to reflect on where I was and I realized, man, I was just existing. I was just surviving. And I decided in that moment that I would chart my course. I would chase my dreams and, man, I start living with passion again. And that's the day, my second turning point, when I, when I stopped simply surviving and I began to truly succeed. After all, life without passion is a slow way to freeze to death, especially when you're living in Alaska like I was. So, so I ask, are you still dreaming? Are you still going to sleep with passion and purpose every day? Or are you, are you in need of that turning point? Look, whether you're at a, at a place in your life where you're already filled with passion and purpose, or whether you're simply in survival mode, take a moment and answer these questions. I mean, seriously, even pause this video if you have to and take some time and jot down the answers. What do you want to be the best in the world at? I mean, think about it. What, what do you want to be the best in the world at? I don't know what it is. Maybe you want to be the best salesperson in the world. Make it happen. Maybe you want to be, maybe you want to be the best parent in the world. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to be the best quilter in the world. Maybe you want to be the best shooter in the world. I don't know what it is, but figure out what you want to be the best in the world at and go do it. The second question I have for you is, what is that passion that makes you jump out of bed in the morning? I mean, think about it. When, when, you get out of, when you get out of bed in the morning, are you getting out of bed just saying, time to make the donuts, right? I got to go to work. I got another bell to bell today. Or are you jumping out of bed today saying, man, today's going to be the best day I ever had. I'm going to kick ass today and I'm going to sell a ton of cars. I mean, do you have that passion? And if you don't, you got to get that passion back. Don't just wake up and hope coffee wakes you up. Man, your, your dreams, your desires, your passion needs to be what drives you and wakes you up. And the third thing I want to ask you is, what is that dream you always had, but you never pursued? I don't know, what is it? What is that dream? I mean, I, I don't know what that dream is. Maybe flying a fighter jet. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe you want to go to a fantasy camp. Whatever that dream is that you always had and you always, you always wanted to achieve, you always wanted to chase it, man, now's the time. It's time to be a kid again and start dreaming. Look, regardless of the stage of life you're in, regardless of your age, your education, your, your position, your title, or status. It's time to step up and commit to excellence. Do it for your family. Do it for yourself. Do it because, because life is short and it's the right thing to do. Sit down, dream big, set some goals, 
write them down, make a plan, and commit. Then take action and start charging towards your destiny now. It's time for a turning point. Which way are you going to turn?